Hello, welcome to the Daily Purposeful Movement Challenge. Today we have squats, burpees, side planks, lunges, planks, push-ups, plank jacks, and the Pilates 100. So we're gonna get started with squats and then move on to burpees. So just a reminder, squats, you're looking up and dropping your bum down, not looking forward and dropping your bum back. You're gonna bend through your knees and your hips, core is engaged, you can grab some weights, squeeze your glutes. So we're working on building some muscle, but more importantly, because you're using your largest major muscle groups, you're gonna start elevating the heart rate. So don't be afraid to do squats. I know I hear when my knees are achy, this is the best thing for them is motion. Let me just do a couple more. Again, I'm looking up, dropping my bum down. You can choose how low you wanna go, but look up. Leave with your chin and your nose. Okay, now we're gonna go on to burpees. Then we've got side planks. So burpees, we're gonna start at the beginning. If you are more advanced, then just do a burpee because you know what's going on. So, burpee. We're gonna stand tall like a mountain, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Then we're going to squat down, place your hands on the mat, walk back to plank, pause for a moment, soften your elbows, look forward, then walk your feet forward, Squat, reach up. You can lift your heels off the ground. So we're gonna go to squat, hands on the mat, walk back to plank, walk forward to squat, reach up. So adding squat, walk back, walk forward, squat, little hop. Then you can add on by jumping back, jumping forward, squat, jump up. So let's go squat, plank, squat, jump. Squat, plank, squat, jump. Let's do a couple more together. Again, you can slow it down and just walk back, walk forward, squat, or jump through. You got a push up, it's your choice. So now we're gonna go down to the mat and we've got some side planks. So you have 30 seconds. We're gonna go to 30 seconds on our right and 30 seconds on our left. So you're gonna bring the arm across, tap your hips and your shoulders, reach up, Lift up through the hip, lift up through the shoulder. I'm going to sink down, you're going to work your obliques, which are your lateral abdominals. You can add a twist if you like. Keep your core engaged. Breathing up five more. Then we're going to slowly come to the other side. So left arm comes across. Lunges are next, so we're going to come off the ground. Reach up. We're going to sink through your hips. Breathe. You can add that twist if you like. And stack your hips and shoulders. Pull your abs in. We have five to go. And then we're gonna go to lunge. So lunges. You can grab some weights, grab your wall. We're gonna start where this is called a static lunge. We're gonna come up and down. If you are barefoot, you'll be able to see your first big toe, your big toe and your second toe. That just gives you good knee alignment. Important, because you wanna use all of your quad muscles. If you let that knee fall in, you're kind of neglecting to use your vastus medialis. Fancy word for kind of that internal, smallest quad muscle. So a lot of people who have tracking issues with their knees, it's because they're not using all four quads. Really, really using three. We're coming up and down, core engaged, kind of moving tall rather than small. Breathing, with or without a weight, weights. You can go step forward into a lunge if you like. Oops. So you're a choice. Okay, now we're gonna move on two planks, and we have two of these at 60 seconds. So you can choose, let me get my heart rate up monitor. So you can choose to be tall plank, elbows are bent, looking forward rather than down. Don't lock those elbows, press your feet back, pull your belly in. Shoulder blades pulled back. This here plank tends to be core, yes, but actually more arms, shoulders, chest, and quads. And you'll feel your quads 
as you press your feet back. You're not shifting your shoulders back. You're still keeping them over your wrists, but you'll feel engaged when you your quads. Pull those abs in. So this is a tall plank position. Feel free to come to your knees. Another option, I was reminding that for, a sec for 60s, you can come down to bent elbow plank, shoulders back. You can do some knee taps if you want. Breathing. You can take it to an up plank. So your choice, this helps build some upper body strength. So important as we age, breathe. So your choice, but 60 seconds of planks twice. Then we're gonna go to push-ups. So push-ups, we have 10 of those, is you can do a traditional push-up or a tricep push-up. Triceps is that plank position you were just at. And we're gonna lower yourself down, squeeze your elbows in, and press up. Push-ups is so important us as we age. So I know most of you guys are women, so we're gonna talk about this. We traditionally hear women are weak upper body. Why is that? We want to strengthen our upper body. So don't be afraid to do push-ups. Don't be afraid to do plank up downs. Do the work. If you're just starting out, it's going to seem daunting, but you stick with it, you're going to feel strong. So important because all the walking we're doing really only benefits kind of from your sternum down. What are we doing to strengthen these bones here? Right? This is doing it. So get to those push-ups. Stay on your knees. Doesn't matter. Again, traditional push-up, wider, on your knees off, doesn't matter. Start today. I don't know what you're all waiting for. Don't be afraid to do hard things. Breathe. So we've got 10 push-ups. Then we're gonna go to plank jacks. Again, we're gonna, this is gonna help elevate your heart rate, but you're gonna stress your upper body, which is what we wanna do. So, in a plank position, feet together, Bend your elbows, don't lock your elbows. The reason is because when you lock your elbows, the muscles don't have to work. So keeping them slightly bent or soft helps, in, makes you engage the muscles that support those joints. And you're here, do the work properly. Don't stress your joints out. So we're gonna jump out and jump in. Jump out and jump in. Keep your abs in. You can go slow, you can go fast. I don't care, but start. We got the Pilates 100 next. Not a fan favorite for some of you. Come on. I'm gonna just do a couple more. Okay, Pilates 100. Here's the secret. Use your abs to hold you up. And with your eyes are, that means you're not gonna hyperextend or hyperflex your neck. You don't have to go to the full Pilates 100 position. Modify. But this is gonna get your abs really strong because you gotta engage them. So we're gonna come on our backs, laying here. Okay, my head, my neck, and my, lung, my low back, I'm gonna call my lumbar spine or my cervical spine, or off the mat. That's a natural lordotic curve. Then what we're gonna do is you're gonna pull your abs in, bring your feet off the mat. So your knees are over your hips, and your calf muscles, your shins, are parallel to the ground. Here's your starting position. Now, where you are, your low back is still off the mat. We're gonna pull your knees in, you're flattening your low back, pull your knees away, you're in that starting position. Now you can straighten your legs, not to the ceiling, but imagine where the ceiling meets the wall, that corner, it's about 45 degrees. Stay here if you want. Pull your abs in, arms down to your side, so you can lift your head and your upper body as low as that kind of bottom part of your sternum, nope, your scapula, Sorry, you're off the mat, that's your shoulder blades. So now if I'm looking up, look at my neck. Look at my tummy, look at my, look, look at my upper thighs. You can straighten your legs, keep your knees bent, arms off the mat, reach your fingertips away from you, so kind of giving some elongation to your neck. Pull your abs in, if you feel straining your neck, come back down, because you've let the tummy go. So engage your abdominals, you're gonna feel it. Put your hands here. Again, we're not worried about getting to the Pilates. You wanna do it correctly. I'm gonna pull those abs in, you've got it. Pull, pull, okay. Hold, and then pump your arms. Now the breath in Pilates is you're gonna breathe in through your nose for a count of five, and you're gonna breathe out of your mouth for a count of five. 
but keep the core engaged. That's what you're focused on. Eyes are at your tummy. So breathing in for five, pump those arms, and pumping your arms really uses those abdominals. Legs are straight, legs are bent, doesn't matter. Feeling the strain in your neck means that you're not using your core. As soon as I engage my core right there, I felt that strain come off. So breathing in for five, out for five. Ready, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. 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 Keep going. That is the Pilates 100. You're gonna feel it in your abs. So thank you for participating in the Purposeful Movement Challenge. We are aging well together. Have a great day.